Muthoni here. So this is definitely editing Muthoni. The reason I had to sit down and do this was because as I was editing the video, I realized that the opening or the beginning of the video had a lot of static and I'm not sure what the mic was picking up on while we were filming in the kitchen. So I had to just jump on here and just do the intro because you can't hear anything. We are doing beans in peanut sauce that's the main recipe and then there's a sprinkle of orange flavored chapos up in there that's now the the salt bay <laughs> some people have reached out and said that they try my recipes and they really enjoy them and they hope that i can share more of them so here we are this is uh one of them recipes i hope you're going to enjoy <laughs> It's okay, it's just Because those ones fit, yeah, they fit there. That is on that one. I can push that thing. <laughs> you can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to like than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better to cover them again for another 20 minutes and then as they do their thing we'll clean up on that other side and of course because I was not raised by a monster we always have that katani chapel there we go <laughs> and also to make them the same size I use my hands my fingers to measure when I'm when I'm rotating the circular thing and then I just measure with my fingers as our as our unga rests over here, we're going to get started on the food. So I'm going to do a mix of macadamia oil because I love my macadamia oil. I don't cook with a lot of oil. And then I'm going to add in some sunflower oil. It's because we're making enough stew for two days, so it's gonna be a bit on the onions. I like a lot of onions in my food. So throw in the onions. Doing this is to coat them with all the oil so that they can start cooking. And then we're going to cook that. I'm going to throw in some cloves. Just like not to be enough. I have my garlic, this is minced, I minced it with the, with the mincer, if you don't have one you can do that pounding, again put in that katikati as it starts to cook. Those are the dania stems. 
month this chick from the good fish kaluhi the putting your stems in first and it's really cool for both dania and i've used it with parsley as well so put your stems and then put your nini you put the the leaves because me i used to just throw out the stems i didn't know i could use them also. so thank you kaluhi garam masala that's like two tablespoons Mm, wow, I love it. Don't worry about stuff sticking. Ukuchini, it's all going to just come up because, like, all our garlic is now stuck across the base, but everything else is still cooking, and all that is just flavor. I like putting the cumin directly into the into like the base of the sufuria. In such a step because it starts roasting before I mix it in with the stuff. It smells really nice. I wish you could smell it, but it smells dope. I'm going to add just a little bit of our broth. Just to loosen the base. See, it's already all the base has loosened up. You can even use magic. If you don't have broth, just use water. I'm going to make that for magic. So, this is very, it looks like a koroga. A base for a koroga. Come see. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm using this is peanut butter, the blue band one. Actually, I've, I've noticed that I like it. I'm going to put three huge scoops because I really like. For me, I like the the flavor of the peanut butter, the peanut flavor. And also, not just that, we're doing a lot of food. I usually, you would normally do like two, two scoops for a meal. I've done four. And then I'm going to just melt this into everything. Where's my name? So we're going to melt this into this stuff. And then what I do is I'm, as it melts, I add maji because it's thick. You melt it, you melt so can see how thick it is. You can add your maji or now in this case your broth. I'm going to just do like half of it here. And then just because now this is the, the flavor that all my beans are going to have. So I make sure that I love how this tastes before I add now the beans. What I love about this is how thick it becomes and it's so tasty. Cindy or Nick? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm yet to add salt because I personally don't cook with much salt. The peanut butter has salt. I like to add that after. Mm. We haven't added nini chili yet. Chili. So if you're using these chilies, very little goes a long way if you're using cayenne i cayenne is slightly not it's on the underside compared to this this you can't even put a teaspoon or anything a tablespoon a teaspoon i usually just tap a bit of it like this and then taste it this one you moga to kidogo like this and you guys can't eat food Oh, you're tasting with a whole spoon. I was just gonna tap this on your hand. Honestly, you can't taste it. I can't taste it. Feel the back of your throat, though. Just give it a moment first, because mm -hmm. you know it takes, and then it kicks in. Ah, yes, I can. Oh, yeah. So that that's okay. Yeah. So we like this. I'm going to just add a dash of salt. Because the salt, the, this like for me, the salt level is already okay. But we're adding the beans, so I'll just add a bit of salt. And then just. Can you see the oils? Because the peanut butter also has oil, so that's why you don't want to cook with a lot of oil. Me, I don't like seeing oil ever in my food, but that's just a me thing. 
some bias like that so i'm going to just pour in my beans my defrosted beans these are yellow beans i don't know if i had mentioned that we had boiled them and we froze them and then this is going to simmer but before that after doing this now we're going to add the other the other broth as our simmering thing you don't worry it's still going to be very very thick at the end of it so and then i'm going to move this to now that heat on that side a lot less um uh, what's it called heat and then because we're, we're going to use this for the chapel so switching on the stove time to transfer the food I don't like that I can see the oil. So I've transferred it to that side. Uh, now I'm going to do my chapels. chapels look at how pretty they are and they are so tasty i'm so glad we went with the orange we have our beans i don't know why i'm yawning <laughs> so tasty and they smell so good and then we went ahead and added some smoothies green smoothies to have with our meal and that's it so tell me if this is one something you've ever had or two something you would definitely try and I hope you, if you try it, you'll let me know how it tastes for you. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, it's different, but it's lifestyle. That's what lifestyle is about. So today we cooked. Yay! We cooked. I thought Nick was gonna say yay. Yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment.